And now welcome back inside the Collins Arena as we continue with our second game here tonight on Brookdale TV as the Jersey Blues take on the number 10 seed in the Region 19 in Ocean. Brian Gowdzer and Dominic Sama back here with you. Dominic Brookdale, a very strong season, has them in the number two spot in the region tournament and all season long carried by the performances of Kevin Mateo and Nick Williams, both all region performers in Mateo's case, first team and Nick Williams, second team. Yeah, Nick Williams is now one of the best players. And mind you folks, he is only a freshman to begin with. So he's got a lot of potential to truly take over this Brookdale squad as a captain next season. Much like Kevin Mateo is now averaging 16.6 points per game. Nick Williams only trailing with just around 15 points per game. And then after that, Josiah Basket, of course, the new arrival for the Jersey Blues. Unfortunately, this is going to be it for him in this playoff game. But as we move to the starting lineups of this matchup, I want to cover this rivalry between Ocean and Brookdale. That the last time that this Ocean County squad came to Lincroft, it was a pretty close competition that Brookdale won convincingly 97 to 85. However, in the beginning of the first half or during the first half of play, Ocean was absolutely killing in three point range. So will, will that be something that, or will that be a loose end that Brookdale ties tonight? That's the question among many other aspects uh, between both teams. So this Ocean team, comes in one game over the 500 mark. They just managed to sneak into the region tournament as the last spot, but they get an upset win over Middlesex over the weekend and hoping that their storybook ride continues. But as we know, never easy playing here at the Collins Arena, and it is a packed house here in Lincroft to watch this one. So the starting lineups, being finalized, the Jersey Blues starting five here tonight of Andre Wells, Niles Halliburton, Kevin Mateo, Nick Williams, and Darnell Askew. And for the Vikings of Ocean, they go with Dylan McCann, Josh Klein, Brian Potter, Ethan Paul, and Dallas Weiss. So we are about set for the opening tip. Glad you're with us here this evening. The officials tonight, Luis Valdez, Thomas McDermott and Atanasios Panagakis. One note I want to make here, Brian, is number 22, Ethan Paul, is in this game compared to the last time these two teams met on February 9th. So just over two weeks ago, under three weeks ago, these two teams met. Ethan Paul was not in this game, so a huge a huge addition to this Ocean Township squad coming back now into Lincroft, a very tough place to play as we get underway. And Brookdale controls the opening tip and they will have the opening possession. Noise in here deafening in Collins Arena. Williams driving kick, working around, hot potato. It's Halliburton off the rim, no, and it gets knocked out of bounds and the Vikings will take possession. See, that's what Brookdale needs to do. They need to have those open looks, just like Halliburton took. Go for those shots, because it's a hit or miss chance, but you're always going there for the offensive rebound. This team is so good in grabbing the offensive rebound, the defensive rebound. They need to be at all cylinders tonight. Brian Potter over to Paul, matched up there with Halliburton. It's a team that can shoot the three and that's how they stayed in the game the last time nice spin to the basket and brian potter puts the first points on the board for the vikings yeah not too different from the last time these two teams met that brian potter was almost a spoiler in the game getting the first points of this matchup as halliburton loses the ball and mccann gives it over to klein go ahead josh klein all region second team Here's a three for Potter, and that's way short. McCann got a hand on it, but out of bounds. And the Jersey Blues take over. It's been quite a while since we've seen Brookdale on the floor here. 12-day layoff, but their last game of the regular season, that was the route at the hands of Mercer, 110-71, as they 
blew away Mercer in Division Two. Askew gets good position, but there's a whistle. And another big thing, Brian, they're already giving Brian Potter good looks from mid-range and three-point range. They can't let that happen. They need to press up the entire time as Nick Williams misses that shot. Offensive rebound, Askew. And you see Ocean County gambling for the ball big time tonight. So it'll be an inbound once again underneath, but an early substitution, Channing Williams in. Brian Potter sits, so he picks up a quick two personal fouls. We played a minute and a half, and he already finds his way to the bench. Catch and shoot, Mateo shot in and out, and it's picked up defensively by Klein. Move it ahead quickly. Dallas Weiss, he's a terrific shooter. Ethan Paul off the dribble. Klein in the corner over Mateo. It's off the top of the glass and rebounded by Askew. Pushing his wells through the paint strip and fouled. So Dylan McCann picks up the first, his first, already three team fouls on Ocean, not even two minutes in, and Wells shoots the free throws. Averages just almost 80%, 79% from the free throw line, and that's what, that's another thing that Brookdale needs to do. They're a really good free throw shooting team with players like Niles Halliburton at 90%, Kevin Mateo at 83, and of course Wells at just almost 80%. He, he goes one at a two, make it two to one. Ocean fared better on the road during the season than they did at home. One game over on the road, one game under at home. In the hands of Klein. Paul draws two defenders and called for traveling. So you mentioned a name that, we need, that we're probably going to be calling a lot tonight, which is Josh Klein, the best player on this squad, averages 19.3 points per game and does so much to contribute for this Ocean County squad. As last time around, when he last time he was here, he netted 26 for this Vikings team. Nick Williams, reverse try, no. Tracked down the baseline by Askew. Brookdale gets another opportunity. Williams on the drive and the bucket. See, that's what Nick Williams needs to continue to do throughout this game. Take contact, attack the rim, go inside, and also shoot outside. Mateo the steal and the save. And Brookdale's running and gunning with Halliburton off the glass, no good. And it will stay with the Jersey Blues as it's off Ethan Paul. Change coming in. Dylan McCann goes to the ocean bench and he's replaced by Brian Dunphy the second. Inbounded for Mateo. Klein on him. Mateo attacks him. Goes hard to the floor. Just now gets to his feet as Wells can't find the range on the bank shot. And now quickly ahead, Dumpy spinning in the lane. May have gotten away with an extra step. Everyone in the building calling for it. And out of bounds, Vikings retain it. You hear the yells from the other side in Ocean County's Patrick Boylan, a former assistant coach in Montgomery, which will be possibly played against if one of these teams win tonight. Dallas Weiss, crossover, jump shot, no, and rebounded by Halliburton. Evan Mateo thought about the three. And Wells will get it reset. Now he pops the three. Offensive rebound grabbed by Askew, goes right back up strong. Another try as he hits the deck and Williams cleans up the mess. 
And like we said before, Nick Williams is only a freshman, and he's totally already taking over this game as Dunphy misses that shot. Offensive rebound, Weiss, add to McCann. Weiss gives it up. Dunphy attacks the basket, left-handed. And Williams and Mateo were there for Brookdale. Williams taking it hard, but stripped of the ball, taken by Weiss, and then a foul in the backcourt as Brookdale will pick up their first. Askew called on it. Jordan Cohen is set to substitute, and here he comes replacing Williams. 5-2 Brookdale early, just underway tonight. Winner of this game will match up with the winner against Montgomery or Atlantic Cape. That game going on as we speak as well. We'll keep you updated on any scores there. Dumpy short, and the Jersey Blues will have it. Brookdale is not substituted. They stick with their original starting five and working with a three-point lead. Askew sets the screen. Mateo's step back is off the rim and rebounded by Paul. One thing we know is Josh Klein wants that possession. He wants that ball. He wants to take that shot. And Ethan Paul's another one with 18.2 points per game coming into this game. So he will head to the line for two, averaging 61% from the free throw line. Yeah, and he's had a very strong season, close to a double-double with the 18 points, about nine and a half rebounds. Sophomore out of Tom's River, first attempt, he doesn't get the roll. Paul out of Tom's River North High School. Of course, that's where Ocean plays its home games down in Tom's River, so they've got a lot of local products on the roster. And one out of two from the line. That five minutes gone by in a 5-3 Brookdale lead early as Williams goes to work, and he finishes and one. Nick Williams, a freshman from Patterson, New Jersey, already showing off his insanely good skill heading to the free throw line to convert on this three-point play. Second team, all region 19 this year. Free throw no good is rebounded by Klein. In addition for Williams, twice named the conference player of the week during the regular season. It's Brookdale by four. Possession here with the Vikings. Three on the way, Cohen sticks it. Jordan Cohen from downtown. Great look for Jordan Cohen, taking advantage as a big man and now defending against Askew. Well-rounded player. Williams hits a shot in the paint. It looks like this is gonna be a shootout game back and forth. This is what we love, Brian. 9-6 Brookdale leads. Mateo harassing defense at top and pulled on a reach in with Dunphy handling. Those are exactly the kind of plays that Paul Chizek was telling us before the game he hoped to avoid picking up silly fouls. As Mateo picks up his first, Dallas Weiss to the bench. And Christian Corcion has checked in. Dumphy gives up his dribble. Shot clock's down to eight. Klein, a spin, out to the open man, it's Cohen. And the whistle blows, and it's on Brookdale, it appears. It looks like just a lot of contact between Kevin Mateo and Josh Klein and Paul Chizek, incredulous with that call. And that's a quick two on Mateo, so he'll probably be forced to hit the bench. And Mateo able to pick it up. Brookdale gets the turnover. 
Williams. A little crossover, but handling it a little bit loosely. That will be Ocean Basketball. These teams meeting for the third time this season, and interestingly enough for Brookdale, they scored exactly 97 points in both of the earlier meetings. Two victories for the Jersey Blues. Klein, corner pop, no for three. Track down on the offensive end for Corsione. Second chance opportunity, Dunphy, that's good. Brian Dunphy drills the three. Yeah, great shot by Dunphy and a great look for Ocean as they tie this game up at nine. We're seven minutes into the first half of play and you can hear the deafening noise from the Ocean County side. Ron Flood is in to the basket, blocked. Ethan Paul the block, and he's pushing in transition. Gets to the basket with the right hand, too strong. Offensive rebound, Klein. Shot clock resets. Klein, traveled. Paul Cheese, they call it right on cue, much like the referees did in that sequence. Exactly seven minutes gone. We're tied up at nine. Paul Chizek, who is not concerned about his team not playing in 12 days time, mostly because he thought they had a very good week of practice over the last three days. So he felt they were ready to go tonight. Wells gets to the basket for two. See, that's what Andre Wells needs to continue to do tonight, which is get physical, attack the rim, and get fouls. Swing it for Cohen. That shot may have gotten altered as Askew got back there. Shot was way off the mark. Handed off for Williams. Jumper in rhythm, no. It's going the other way, offensive. I think they got Wells. Yep. So it'll be Ocean Basketball. And this is a team that did not go into the region tournament playing at their best. They dropped six of their final eight of the regular season, but managed to knock off the higher seed in their matchup with Middlesex. And now here they are playing tonight. Down low with Paul, strong move, and he gets it to go. Ocean, Ocean County is definitely not playing like a 10 seed tonight up against a number two seed in Brookdale. Josiah Basket is in, he's instant offense, he scores. As he continues, the new arrival and the unfortunate quick departure also, as Josiah Basket averages just about 14 points per game for the Jersey Blues. Dale by two, handed off for Klein, contact, and a foul before the shot as Flood swats it away. But for Brookdale, team foul number six. I am starting to like that matchup between Ron Flood and Josh Klein because you know, Flood is not scared to press up against Klein every time he looks to make some shifty moves. Bounce it for Klein right up and gets it to fall. Just skilled. You, you have no, there's nothing. There's nothing else to put it. Like it, there's no other way to put it. Josh Klein is so skilled in what he does as the best player for Ocean. Handed off Williams, spins, shot off the rim. Ask you able to keep it alive. Finds a wide open Wells. See, it's not only Andre Wells who leads in assists, but it's just the whole team diming to each other and looks like that, that's gonna benefit Brookdale in the end of the day. 15-13. Approaching the halfway point, first half, drive and kick. That's an open look. Paul, count it. That can't, happen. that can't happen, Brian. That really can't happen. Nick Williams should have just went right up to him, put a hand in his face, gave him some pressure, and maybe he would have missed it. But that results in Ocean with the lead. Williams, that's off the rim, no. Rebounded by Cohen. Here come the Vikings. Ethan Paul just hit that three. Goes behind the back, forced to give it up. Dumpy and he traveled. And now both teams are set to make multiple changes for Brookdale with Strickland and Jombala in as Askew and Williams go to the bench. And for Ocean, Channing Williams 
<laughs> is one of the changes who comes in for the Vikings. Ocean by one. Brookdale looking to gain the lead back in their favor on this end of the floor. Here's Strickland, gets inside, can't get it to fall, and it's grabbed by Paul and then Williams. Ethan Pauls on the drive, and that goes down for two. That's a tough move by Ethan Paul, contributing for Ocean. Wells works it back to the corner. Jambala looking for position. Instead, it's Strickland back out. Wells, jumper on the way, and rebounded by Corsione. It would have been a long two. So Ocean with the ball, now a three-point lead. Ball against Jambala, handed off Weiss. He cashes it, a three. Dallas Weiss was the region leader in three-pointers made with 81 of them during the regular season, and that's a Brookdale turnover, and that has the Vikings bench very pleased, to say the least. You would think this is a home game for Ocean County, the support that's been coming in to Lincroft all the way from Thomas River. My goodness, did not expect this. It is... Well, you can't quite call it March Madness. We're in the last day of the month of February, but <laughs> it's got that feel, especially really with a potential upset in the air. Ocean's gotten off to a good start. We just had one in the last game. Dump, they collapse on Klein. Here is Weiss, not that time. And Williams able to get to it in the corner. Shot clock resets. Another opportunity here for Ocean. Williams inside. No good, and rebounded by Jombala. Flood on the attack, lost his footing, but he's fouled. It looks like Klein is shaken up. Seems like he'll fight through it, but he is definitely in pain. And it's Wells to inbound it. Five team fouls on Ocean, six for the Jersey Blues. In for basket. He's got a smaller defender on him in McCann. But they'll reset it at the top. Klein loosely defending. Top of the key flood. Back to Wells. Into the paint. Now Strickland, jumper from the elbow. Didn't get the roll. Jambala lost the handle. Klein is on it. And it's going to be Ocean Basketball. Foul called on Jombala, so he goes to the bench. And Brookdale has reached the penalty, so Klein is shooting one and one. 78% shooter for the Pinelands, New Jersey native. He missed it, rebounded by Flood. So Flood getting a lot of early minutes here. It's Strickland, and he lays it up and in. See, that Strickland specialty, Brian, as Ocean looks to push on the other side, but Strickland, physical to the rim. He needs to continue that in this game in order to trim this lead from four. Klein steps back. Drive and kick, and called on a walk. So it'll be Brookdale ball. will reset the lineup with Flood. Wells, Basket, Halliburton, and Strickland, the five on the floor. As the Jersey Blues trail in the game by four, Wells, and foul on the pass. Yeah, Klein not happy on that call there. One thing we can definitely come to consensus, Brian, is how physical this game has been. It feels like a playoff game, and that it is. 
Brian Dunphy in, and Klein will get a rest. He now has two personals. That's off basket and out of bounds. That's costly for Brookdale. We're at seven minutes to go, but nonetheless, Ocean's up by four. They can continue to extend this lead in the first half, and that's everything Brookdale does not need. Weiss for three. Offensive rebound, Williams. Vikings have gotten a lot of offensive rebounds this first half. McCann swoops in for the lefty bucket. And Dylan McCann can. And it's a six-point ocean advantage. Brookdale set to make a couple of changes at the next whistle. Wells around the Halliburton screen. Jump pass, flood, three on the way, short. Strickland grabs the offensive rebound, back up. No good, still loose, grabbed by Wells. Strickland finishes for two. Just unselfishness like that is gonna help them throughout this game, Brian, as they trim it by four. Ethan Paul comes to it, gets a bump there. McCann drives, hook there. it out. Here is Weiss, side rim on a three, and rebounded by Flood. Six and a half to go, first half. Basket, crossover, jump shot is good. Josiah Basket just continuing his shifty moves and his easy shooting. McCann gives up his dribble. Williams working on basket. He holds his ground and forces the turnover on a travel. And here comes Kareem Irby and Nick Williams returning as Wells and Flood to the Brookdale bench. 6.09 to go in this first half. An entertaining first half that it has been. Brookdale in an unfamiliar position of trailing, but a chance to tie or take the lead here. Irby inside, gets it to go. Great move by Kareem Irby as they tie this game up. And Osha really pushing back. Dumpy counted. This kind of fast break type of transition to the basket is really helping them now against Brookdale because they can't get back fast enough. Irby fakes. Back to the basket. Williams, what a move and off the Renault offensive rebound follow for Halliburton. That's what's going to work for Brookdale. Offensive rebounding, unselfishness, and high percentage shots like that is keeping this game a close one. Halliburton coming up a season high, 21 points. McCann, a circus finish with the left hand. Come up on five minutes remaining. Brookdale down by two. Strickland holds, drives, and scores. Twenty-seven apiece in this quarterfinal matchup, Region 19 style, out of bounds. Possession stays on this end. Here's Flood, and I think Paul Chizek has to love the energy that Flood is playing with as he replaces Basket back in the game. This is the game of their lives, Brian. This is what I said in the last game, a Jersey Shore Classic, and it continues to be tonight just in the playoff setting. Inbounded for Williams. McCann takes the handoff, but did so out of bounds. Well, that's an unforced error for the Vikings. Brookdale looking to untie it as we're knotted at 27 all. Williams throws it up with the left hand. Strickland all in one motion. Another try inside, and Strickland will go to the line. And Devin Strickland just continues to be a solid role player for this team. He, the player just knows his role coming off the bench. Yeah, and as we can see, I mean, he only stands, Devin Strickland at six foot, 
only six foot, you know, in basketball, especially in men's basketball, where you have guys standing at like six foot seven, six nine, six ten. Devin Strickland is the size of a point guard, but plays like a forward. The hops he has and the physicality that he has in order to fight his way to the rim as he splits the pair there. And Williams able to race to it, puts up a jumper, and splash! A corner triple, time out Ocean, as Brookdale has gained a four-point lead. And the Vikings need to talk things over. Full time out, 421 to the half, and the Jersey Blues, 31-27. They lead it. Brian Gounsor, Dominic Sama, the rest of our Brookdale TV crew with you this evening. Game two of our double header as we have hit the Region 19 tournament portion of the season. And Brookdale, the number two seed, locked in this tough matchup with number 10 Ocean. And they had the lead earlier, but Brookdale has been able to snatch it recently. 31-27. Vikings basketball, they're now down by four. Brookdale initiating a man-to-man -man here. So Brookdale, or Nick Williams all over to Ethan Paul. Shot clock's down to two. Klein has to put it up, and he does not. Shot clock violation, smothering defense from the Jersey Blues. See, that's classic Jersey Blues basketball, especially in Paul Cheesek's image. 32 years here, Brian, and 600 wins that he recently got in the midway of the regular season. And you hear him making play calls right now. Williams. And getting on the floor, Weiss, but Strickland able to rescue it. Cross court flood, bounce it, Halliburton, count it. So you need to give guys like Niles Halliburton open looks in order to continue to extend this score. And now their lead is up by six. 33-27, Dumphy the answer, no, and it's rebounded by Irby, he's looking to push. And he'll work it back out, Flood, Williams, his three-pointer, too strong, and on a bounce it comes to Paul. Before Williams gets a hand on it, nearly got a steal, Klein goes down hard, and who will have it, the officials figuring that out. See, that's what Paul Chizek told us in our pregame discussion, that guys are going to be falling on the ball tonight. People are, they, they're going to be falling on this ball and going for the loose ball in order to gain that possession for Brookdale. Anything to secure this win tonight. They get the foul on Williams. Brookdale is over the limit. Klein is at the line. And I'm a poet, apparently. Free throw is good. 78% shooter, second team all region performer. And you could argue with the numbers that he had this season that he should be first team all region as he makes a pair and cuts the Brookdale lead to four. Especially the way he carried Ocean during the last time they were in this building. Hence why he's the leading scorer and the best player on this team. Irby lost it, taken here by Klein on a bounce for McCann, hooks it out to the corner, Corcio knocks it down at three. See, miscues like that, unforced errors cannot work in your favor if you're Brookdale. Will Williams answers right back and a three ball of his own as Brookdale restores its four-point lead, 36-32. What a spin by Klein, but he traveled. So it's Brookdale basketball with a change for Ocean. Brian Dumpy, the second in, Klein to the bench. So Ocean will make do without their best on the floor and we'll hit the two-minute mark in this first half. Quarterfinal matchup, Region 19. Williams feeling it, not that time. Knocked out of bounds and going the other direction. 
I want to make a note, Brian. Kevin Mateo has been on the bench for longer than usual. It looks like he's aiding a thumb injury or a pinky injury on his, something on his hand. So looks like he's an active four now at least and hope he'll be back in the game soon. He's also dealing with two personal fouls that he picked up early. McCann thought about it. Dumphy drives and puts it in the left hand. Just a great move by Dumphy and a heck of a way to get by Ron Flood to the bucket. Trends the lead to two. Halliburton's three-pointer is good. Niles Halliburton on point. Back to a five-point Brookdale lead. Halliburton coming off that 21-point, 18-rebound performance in the win against Mercer 12 days ago. Yeah, Halliburton had 21 points in that game, and coming off that big game, he's going to continue his tear tonight. Dumphy's in trouble. Loose ball scooped up by Corsione. They got to put it up with two on the clock. And off the rim, Dumphy can't get it to fall. Williams is on it, and we are inside a minute to play, first half. Brookdale 39, Ocean 34. Wells is directing. Walt Chizek emphatically calling out to his team. Williams is on the low block, and he's fouled. And we're going to say, uh, did they get an offensive foul there? Appears they did on Williams. I can't believe that one. Williams picks up his second. Basket is in. Just over a half minute remaining. And about a four second difference shot and game clock. As Ocean takes their time here. McCann just delays. Time going off the clock. Now he makes his move, hands it off Weiss. Gotta get a hand in his face. Corsione on the drive and gets it to go. Up and over Flood. Final five seconds across midcourt Wells. All the way to the rim and yes! And one. Andre Wells. And that was impressive under control, knowing just how much time he had, and a big three-point play possibility to close the half. You talk about playoff basketball, we are already in March Madness. Free throw, good. Brookdale by six, there's still a minute and a half on the clock. And they'll inbound it again with now eight tenths of a second. For a team that has a lot of shooters on the floor, Weiss in particular, number 24. And the officials get together. Looks like they, they're going to change the game clock. Nope, they're going to go with it. And they're not going to opt to shoot it, so that's how the half comes to a close. And this quarterfinal matchup on Brookdale TV, the score at the break, the Jersey Blues, 42. The Ocean Vikings, 36. Back inside the Collins Arena, second half underway. Brookdale and Ocean in this quarterfinal matchup. Region 19, and Nick Williams off the steal. Rocks the rim with two hands. And that's how Brookdale gets started in this second half. Now with an eight-point lead, 44-36. And it off for Paul. Ethan Paul off the glass, won't fall, and Wells able to get to it. Brookdale moving it quickly. Here comes Williams swooping in with the lefty finish. And just like that, Brian, 18 points for Nick Williams. Started off with 14 in the first half of play, and he's taken over this game now tonight. Yeah, he's the high scorer either side as Paul spins. 
Weiss to the baseline, Klein hits. That's his six points of the game. He only had four in the first half. Not a, it's a real rare sight to see Josh Klein not making a lot of points. Andre Wills for three, and Klein the rebound. Ocean comes the other way, down by eight. Paul with a spin, and he'll go to the line. Niles Halliburton on the foul, that's number two. Brookdale's first as we're just underway this second half. Winner tonight will match up with the winner of Montgomery and Atlantic Cape. That game is in progress. Paul misses the free throw. Can I add to that 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 is another close game between Atlantic Cape and Montgomery? And actually, it might be an upset alert over in Montgomery. Paul, one out of two. Brookdale starts the half with Wells, Williams, Mateo, Halliburton, and Askew, the original starting five, are out there. Back to her cut, and another dunk. It's Williams, and the setup by Wells, a thing of beauty. 20 for Nick Williams. At nearly half Brookdale's total, 20 of the 48, as Weiss with a good move, but missed with the left hand. Brought on by Mateo, spots Halliburton, can't hit the three. Askew keeps it alive and puts it home. See, Brookdale always has been a second half team. The question is, is Ocean gonna add up to this kind of energy coming toward the end of this game. They didn't last time. Let's see if they will this time. As you see, Paul, or Brian number 11, Potter. Potter, going to the 10. And out of bounds, Brookdale will retain possession. It'll be Wells to inbound it. And you see that so often with Brookdale that they can get off to slow starts, but you mentioned that being a second half team and We've seen that so many occasions this year. Halliburton can't convert. And just like that, they're still up by nine. Let's see if Ocean can trim this away. McCann, sweeper with the left hand, and it's rebounded by Halliburton. Now Wills is in attack mode. Follow for Askew, and he'll shoot. Now on a night so far where Kevin Mateo has been limited with two fouls and then dealing with some sort of finger ailment, the guy has been Nick Williams with 20 points and he has carried the load. Yeah, Nick Williams has really taken over this game and mind you, he is only a freshman. How many times can I repeat this, that he is only a freshman out of Patterson New Jersey, so a great addition to this Brookdale squad in the beginning of this season. Nobody saw this guy coming. Three fouls on Brian Potter. Askew looking to salvage a split at the line, and he's unable to. Batted out of bounds, and it stays here. So Brookdale will get another opportunity. They line up in a bunch set. In for Williams, down low, fading away, short, follow, good. Lucky, lucky roll by Niles Halliburton. Approaching three minutes a lap, second half as Brookdale has built the lead to double figures for the first time tonight. McCann pivoting with it. Paul crossover out to McCann, drives, step back, gives it up. Eight to shoot. Potter in a world of trouble, intercepted in the hands of Halliburton, and he goes in for two. Timeout, Ocean, as it just may be unraveling, getting away from the Vikings. Largest lead of the night for the Jersey Blues, it is 13. 54-41 as we get a full timeout on the floor and we return in just a moment. 
Brian Gansworth, Dominic Samo, rest of our crew with you tonight. Oakdale looking to move on, a win tonight, and they would play again on Thursday in the comforts of Collins Arena. Klein draws the foul, and oh boy, he's grabbing at his knee, and that does not at all look good. Josh Klein in agony. He manages to get to his feet. But it remains to be seen if he'll be able to continue. And it goes without saying that Ocean can ill afford to lose their best player. Looks like he's going to try to tough this one out. Two shots. At first, when it happened, I, I have to say it looked like something serious. Yeah, right? Yeah, he landed right on his near ankle, but for a second time, he shakes it right off and now has to line for two. He hasn't scored a lot tonight, but has taken a lot of physical tumbles and falls. So. He knows how important this game is. No problem as he makes the first one. He's a guy who was in the starting lineup all 27 games for Ocean. Team leader in scoring. And then, oh, by the way, led the region in assists and steals. Now the Vikings have some press on in the backcourt. 11-point Brookdale lead, get it across easily. Williams, another lefty bucket. Seeing possessions like that, Brian, Brookdale knows how to get through the full court press. You're not going to fool them with that kind of full court press defense. It's out of bounds off Mateo. Shanning Williams is jogging in. And it'll be Dylan McCann to the bench. Inbounder is Klein. You have to wonder how much pain he might be in as he remains on the floor. Potter with Askew in his face off the hand of Mateo to the scores table. And another substitution, Brian Dunphy the second has checked in. Ocean basketball. Down by 13, they once led, it wasn't all that long ago. Kleins, nice move, missed the bank shot, rebounded by Williams. Mateo for Halliburton, catch and shoot, and way short. I don't know if somebody got a hand on it, but that... Yeah, Dallas Weiss definitely got a hand on that ball. Weiss for three, long, long rebound, Askew. Mateo's been quiet. Does it change? It does, as he connects from three-point range. It's his first three of the game as Brookdale strengthens their lead now to 16. Paul, up and under move, can't convert. And we talk about a momentum swing for Brookdale. Halliburton enters the post, but nearly stolen. And Askew draws the foul. Brian Dumphy on the foul, and that's his first. So Askew to the line, where he shoots it at 76%. We highlighted Nick Williams as a freshman, but Askew, the other constant as a freshman in the starting lineup, first attempt, good. I want to talk about the third freshman that has been getting a lot of minutes for Brookdale, which is Kareem Irby. So Paul Chizek has a lot of work to do in the offseason after this one ends whenever it does. But sure, they're going to have great captains in Askew, Irby, and Williams coming into the next year. Brookdale's in good hands, put simply. Brookdale hoping 
Their season continues beyond this Region 19 tournament. They've been a fixture in the national tournament in recent years. As Weiss throws up a three, gets his own rebound. Out for Williams. He's unable to hit. Wells grabs the rebound and is hit, fouled. So Klein now with three fouls and see what the future holds for him. Ocean initiating a full court press down by 18. Brookdale not phased. And there's an easy slam for Askew. Off the feed from Williams and the lead has ballooned to 20. Shake and bake for Dumphy, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, Dumphy having some words for Halliburton, but the referee's not catching it one bit, so he will continue to the free throw line for two. Ocean was able to stay in the last meeting with Brookdale, mainly because they shot the three so well. I mean, they made 14 out of 34, and the starters were 14 of 25 as the free throw gets the roll. But the three-point shooting, guys like Dallas Weiss, who has been a weapon all season, Brookdale has done a good job taking that away. Yeah, him and Josh Klein. Josh Klein had 26, yeah, I'm right, 26 points in the last meeting, as well as Weiss, who had 20. And those are the two players who have been most quiet all game. Long pass caught by Williams. Now they work it around quickly. To the corner. Potter spins inside, count it, and one. Great defense by Askew, but great greater offense by Potter as it's a strong move to the bucket against Askew. And his team will take a timeout. Uh, they do so at the 13.33 mark. We're in the second half. Brookdale has started to pull away in this one. Our score is 63-46, Jersey Blues. My name is Ron Flood Jr. I am from Union, New Jersey. I play wing here at Brookdale, and I chose Brookdale because they have a very successful academic and athletic program. My name is Regan Burke. I'm from Manhattan, New York. I play shooting guard, point guard, or small forward. And the reason I chose Brookdale is because I thought it'd be a great place for me to develop as a basketball player and a student. My name is Darnell Askew. I'm from Staten Island, New York. I play forward, and I chose Brookdale because they have a very good academic and athletic program. I'm Tim Jombala. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a forward slash center. The reason I chose Brookdale, because like I said last year, the coach could make me a better player, and I believe this year I'll be even a better player. My name is Darren Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amo, New Jersey. I play the one spot on the basketball team, and the reason I came to Brookdale is because of the wide variety of education. Um, this is my second year. I'm a sophomore, and I think coming back will be a very good season for us coming up. How you doing? My name is Danny Galaszewski. I'm a point guard here at Brookdale. I'm from Sarah, New Jersey. And the reason I chose Brookdale is because I'm a returner from last year. I'm coming back as a sophomore, and I'm just trying to get that ring with my returning teammates. Second game here tonight on Brookdale TV for the Region 19 tournament. Brookdale leads by 17, but it's Brian Potter who has a chance at the three-point play for Ocean. Foul on Askew is his third personal, and so he's on the bench. Jombala in to replace him. Potter, just a 46% shooter, and he banks it in. Don't often see that. He did bank in a three the last time these two teams played in the building. And Paul Chizek is frustrated with his team's turnover. We'll give it right back to the Vikings with Dylan McCann returning to action. Ocean 
Yeah, Trezek wasn't happy with that unforced turnover. Brookdale's now down by 16 compared to 20 before. Weiss, extra pass. McCann drives baseline in a crowd, tries to slip it out to the perimeter, and it's kicked. Shot clock reset to 20. McCann will inbound. Klein circling without the ball, get it in for Potter. Bounce it for Paul, back to her cut. Potter gets it to go. I think the wild card player for this game is going to be Brian Potter in order to keep this game a close one because he's been the one that's been really getting all these buckets throughout the majority of this game. Patrick Boylan calling out to his team, took over the program back in 2017, now in his fifth season as the head man for the Vikings. And Brookdale gives it away. Klein calling for it, shoots the three, it rims out, and then a over the back call. And that has the ocean bench applauding. Yeah, Williams called for an over the back foul there. So another inbound for McCann as Strickland will be allowed to enter. And he replaces Wells. Jersey Blues still lead by two touchdowns. Lob it out, Klein. McCann goes down to the floor, scramble for the ball, and it stays with the Vikings. Klein on the move, finds Paul, and he reverses it home. Lead down at 12 now. Just might be getting interesting again. Mateo calls out a play as McCann watches. Williams sets the screen, takes the pass, but it's not to him, it's to Klein. Don't give them any room to shoot. And don't make any contact like that as you're already at six fouls. Next foul makes you over the limit and every other foul after that. And we're, we only have more than half of the second half to go. They would be heading to the free throw line every time a foul gets committed. Lob it out, McCann. Paul looking to get position down low, but it's Klein who goes inside and another Brookdale foul will be their seventh. That puts them in the penalty. Klein was fouled in the act anyway, but Brookdale is getting themselves into foul trouble. See, that's exactly the problem that Brookdale has caused for themselves now. As Oceans in the bonus. So it's good to see that Klein has been able to stay in after what looked like he sustained a, some kind of injury. Makes a pair of free throws and now Ocean takes a timeout. Just over eight minutes gone by, second half. This game tightening up just a bit down to a 10-point Brookdale lead. We'll step aside. Back underway. Brought on by Basket. He has his pocket picked. Josh Klein back for Weiss, an air ball on a three. And Strickland grabs it before it goes out of bounds. Update on the game that is of particular interest to these two teams playing out in Pennsylvania, and it is Atlantic Cape with a two-point lead. So that game going down to the wire in the final moments out in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Mateo was fouled on the jump shot, and he'll shoot. Yeah, we're just coming to two minutes to go in that game, and 
Atlantic Cape with the, actually it's a tie game with two and a half minutes to go. It tied at 64 between Montgomery and Atlantic Cape. It could go either way, but if Brookdale wins, then it's gonna be here at Collins Arena in 48 hours. Teo gets the roll, so we'll keep you updated on that when that game goes final. Andre Wills is back in replacing Baskin. Three fouls for Dallas Weiss now. And Mateo, the only thing that slowed down his season was that hamstring injury cost him eight games on the sidelines. But as we know, he is one of Brookdale's leading players and still named as a all-region first teamer, even with the missed time. So Brookdale by a dozen. Flood defending, hook pass for Dumphy. Spinning, puts it up from the foul line, shot in and out, rebounded by Williams. And Brookdale will slow it down. Just over nine minutes gone by as we play this second half quarterfinal matchup. And a whistle on Mateo's drive will be team foul number six against the visitors. And Channing Williams into replace McCann, who picks up his second. In for Strickland, the catch, and Paul able to come down with it. Klein with a baseball-style pass for Williams. He works it back out to the perimeter, spots Klein. Potter, extra pass, and short on the try for Dumphy, and it goes out of bounds to the Jersey Blues. Brookdale five on the floor of Wells, Mateo, Williams, Strickland, and Flood. Flood has seen a lot of action tonight. And he's played a role. Brookdale gets their offense set up. And around the Williams screen, Flood for three. He makes it rain. Hook it back out. The answer for Paul, you bet. On a three of his own. Ocean still continuing to keep it close with the Jersey Blues as Josh Klein gets that steal. Outlets for Dumphy. Oh, what a behind the back move and foul called on Wells. Dumphy, the second to the line, the Howell, New Jersey native. He's a 67% free throw shooter. Four fouls on Wells. He's played an aggressive game, but it's cost him in terms of foul troubles. The free throw misses. And Wells will be Forced to the bench, replaced by Kareem Irby. One more attempt for Dunphy. Good to see a big crowd on hand for this matchup. Vikings have some press on. How does Brookdale handle it? Irby will get it across. And nearly turn it over, but it's kicked. Nine and a half remaining. And Paul Chizek will take this opportunity for a timeout. Nine and a half to play, full timeout. It's Brookdale by 11. We're coming right back. My name is Jaden Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amboy. I play the one and three for Brookdale basketball. And I came to Brookdale to expand my education. 
My name is Andre Wells. I'm from Matawan, New Jersey. I'm a point guard on the Brookdale basketball team, and I chose Brookdale because it was a good fit for me and not really expensive. My name is Manuel Bell. I'm from North New Jersey. I went to American History High School, and the reason I chose Brookdale was for the winning culture and to develop my game. My name is Niles Halliburton. I'm from Matawan, New Jersey. I play forward here for Brookdale basketball. And the reason why I chose Brookdale because it has a great coaching staff and good organization, and it's really good fit for me academically. Hi, my name is Devin Strickland. I'm from South Brunswick, New Jersey. I play the small forward position at Brookdale, and the reason why I came to Brookdale is because of the winning culture and the coaching staff. My name is Louis Robledo. I'm from Jersey City. I play the two and the three, and I came to Brookdale for the culture and for the TV production. My name is Craig Wren. I'm from Trenton, New Jersey, graduated from your high school. I play point guard, and I chose Brookdale for the brotherhood, the family tradition. You know they win here, and I think I can grow as a student athlete and a man. Brookdale forced to re-inbound as the initial one was knocked out of bounds, this time in cleanly. Jersey Blues by 11, looking to move on to the semifinal game in this tournament, which will be played here on Thursday. And Williams is hacked on his way to the basket. Free throws coming up. Now that's an interesting matchup there between Nick Williams and Josh Klein. Nick Williams, the leading scorer of tonight. And Josh Klein, the season's leading scorer as Klein committed the foul. And you have Nick Williams missing the free throw. Yeah. And a lot of Ocean County fans are pretty happy for it. One added two. Klein now with four personal fouls. He remains out there, but another foul, and he'll watch the rest of this one from his chair. Here's Klein on a kick for Williams. On the drive, missed it with the left hand. Mateo's pass tipped a couple of times, able to get it back as it pinballed around. Yeah, great snatch by Mateo. Now Williams jab step, driving baseline. Offensive foul. It's Potter the one who took the hit. And Christian Corsione is in. Dylan McCann will join him on the Vikings side. Williams to the bench and now Klein gets a breather as well. So Ocean will have to make do with that. Their leader on the floor for the time being at least. McCann goes crossover, finds a man, might have been blocked, follow, down it and one. And Ethan Paul, a chance for three. So everything Josh Klein isn't doing, Ethan Paul is covering ground and continuing to trim this Brookdale lead. And he has a chance to trim it back into single digits compared to before when we were talking about Brookdale all of a sudden opening it up and making it 20. But now it happens to be a nine point lead. So it's back to a single digit game. 69-60, under eight and a half to play as Mateo with the nice move to the basket. Back to vintage Kevin Mateo tonight. Firing away, Dumphy can't find the range, rebounded by Mateo and he'll slow down the pace. Floater Mateo in and out and rebounded by Potter. McCann with a head of steam, slips it inside and Paul with two more. Seventy-one sixty-two, seven forty and ticking. Second half of play. Williams attacks, adjusts, and is fouled. I would not be want to be a player defending against Nick Williams when he is going 
to the basket with a head of steam. He averaged about 16 points during the regular season. Klein returns. Second team all region for Nick. Two time conference player of the week. Two for two. And like we said, only a freshman. A lot of potential for next year. Dumpy. Out to McCann. Looks for somebody, finds Potter in a crowd, and he's able to finish. Yeah, just a great matchup between Darnell Askew and Brian Potter, and Potter just getting right through the towering image of Askew. Williams foul line jumper, bounces off, offensive rebound, high off the window, down it goes, and one. Miles Halliburton was at the right spot and a tough finish as they kissed that one off the glass. Yeah, the physicality of Niles Halliburton is needed, very much needed towards the end of this matchup. We're under seven minutes to go. And he made the most of his free throw opportunities during the regular season, an excellent 91% for the three-point play. He doesn't get it. It's rebounded by Paul. Now Paul goes through the paint, left it short, rebounded by Askew. Mateo using the screen, unable to hit the three. Deflected by Weiss, and he gets to it. Can finds Weiss, spots up for three. No good. And Williams the box out. Williams, he can put it up from distance. He will. He makes it. Vintage Nick Williams. Just an amazing step back play on Ocean County to extend this lead up to 14. Just a great move by the freshman. Williams, the leading scorer tonight. He's working on a 20-plus piece. 78-64, Brookdale. The answer from Potter, he's fouled. And he'll shoot three. Three shots. Now the one advantage for Brookdale is that Potter is a sub 50% shooter. Sophomore from Freehold and to the southwest of us. He gets the roll on the first. Potter has one more coming. He made the first two. Update from Montgomery. Montgomery gets the victory. 74-71 the final. They knock off Atlantic Cape. And so Brookdale, if they win, Montgomery is the opponent Thursday night, 7 o'clock. We hope you'll be with us then. Meanwhile, Brookdale still has five and a half minutes to put away Ocean. And they're in front by 12. In the post with Askew, gives it up. Strickland up for two. Ocean is running out of time. Paul throws an interception right in the hands of Strickland, and he'll coast in and slam it with the left. Line long three. Oh, it's on the money. And after the made basket is Josh Klein drills a long ball. 
We'll get a timeout. We've got 440 to play. Full timeout and a 13-point game, Brookdale with the lead. My name is Josiah Basket. I'm from West Milford, New Jersey. I'm a guard, and I came to Brookdale to get a great education and play for a great basketball team. My name is Nick Williams. I'm from Patterson, New Jersey. Went to Elmwood Park High School, played basketball. My position is one, two, or three. And I came to Brookdale, played basketball, and I love school. My name is Ron Flood Jr. I am from Union, New Jersey. I play wing here at Brookdale, and I chose Brookdale because they have a very successful academic and athletic program. My name is Regan Burke. I'm from Manhattan, New York. I play shooting guard, point guard, or small forward. And the reason I chose Brookdale is because I thought it'd be a great place for me to develop as a basketball player and a student. My name is Darnell Askew. I'm from Staten Island, New York. I play forward, and I chose Brookdale because they have a very good academic and athletic program. I'm Tim Jombala. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a forward slash center. The reason I chose Brookdale is because, like I said last year, the coach can make me a better player, and I believe this year I'll be even a better player. My name is Darren Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amboy, New Jersey. I play the one spot on the basketball team, and the reason I came to Brookdale is because of the wide variety of education. Um, this is my second year. I'm a sophomore, and I think coming back will be a very good season for us coming up. How you doing? My name is Danny Galaszewski. I'm a point guard here at Brookdale. I'm from Sarah, New Jersey. And the reason I chose Brookdale is because I'm a returner from last year. I'm coming back as a sophomore, and I'm just trying to get that ring with my returning teammates. What a Final 440 of play tonight. Jersey Blues and the Ocean Vikings semifinal match, or excuse me, quarterfinal matchup in the Region 19. Halliburton's bounce pass is taken away, scooped up by Paul. Long pass, Williams, the catch, rejected by Mateo. OCC possession on a substitution, number 13, Brian Duffy. How about the transition defense? as Mateo gets back to turn that shot away and force an inbound from Klein. Bounce it inside, Paul in the paint, bodied up, fouled. A lot of physical basketball here between these two teams. Like I said, a lot of bad blood between these two. Well, Brookdale is maxed out in fouls with 10, so Ocean will shoot a pair every foul from here on out. First attempt, Paul, no good. As Potter checks in for Dumphy the second. There's two other games ongoing in this region tournament, Passaic and Northampton, Union and Rowan Gloucester. Well, let's see if we can get an update on the scores elsewhere. Askew can't get it to fall, slapped in the hands of Potter. Moving the other way is Williams. He has Halliburton to beat. And it's off the Vikings as Paul, the one who knocked it out of bounds. And timeout, Paul Chizek. A shade over four minutes to play. We come back, we'll update you on some other scores. Region 19 tournament. We're coming back here on Brookdale TV. 405 remaining. Brian Cantor and Dominic Sama, rest of our Brookdale TV crew with you this evening. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday as the Region 19 tournament gets in full swing. Brookdale had a bye in the first round, and here they are as Williams scores. Adds to the Brookdale lead, it's 14. Williams has been the high man tonight. Swing it for Channing Williams. Here's Klein, he got hit on the three, there was no call. Weiss hits the three. three. 84-73. And that's a travel on Halliburton. So Brian Dumphy substitutes in, replacing Potter. There is still time for Ocean. But they're going to have to score in bunches. Devin Strickland checks out. Ocean trying to cut the deficit to single 
digits on this possession. Klein slips it inside for Paul. He can't convert, but he's fouled. And Paul Chizek has a word with the official who made the call. See, fans incredulous of that call. What, what would say, what say you, Brian? Well, the problem is, is that Williams has fouled out. So he's out of the game, and I'm talking about Brookdale being without their leading scorer in this game for the final 317. Strickland in to replace him as Paul. Yeah, that's shoot. A, that's a huge loss for Brookdale. Question is, will Ocean County take advantage? We can give you one update with the Northampton men's basketball team as they triumph over the Passaic County Panthers 97 to 76. We'll keep it posted with the Union Rowan Gloucester 5 4 matchup. Brookdale with the lead by 10. Strickland denied and taken there by Potter. This game's within striking distance for Ocean. Lob it and all in one motion. It's Williams from Klein and a timeout after the made basket. It's an eight point game. As we'll get another break and even three minutes to play and an 84 76 contest. And this quarterfinal matchup continues on Brookdale TV when we come back. My name is Jaden Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amboy. I play the one and three for Brookdale basketball, and I came to Brookdale to expand my education. My name is Andre Wells. I'm from Matawan, New Jersey. I'm a point guard on the Brookdale basketball team, and I chose Brookdale because it was a good fit for me and not really expensive. My name is Manuel Bell. I'm from North New Jersey. I went to American History High School, and the reason I chose Brookdale was for the winning culture and to develop my game. My name is Niles Halliburton. I'm from Madawan, New Jersey. I play Ford here for Brookdale basketball. And the reason why I chose Brookdale because it has a great coaching staff and good organization, and it's a really good fit for me academically. Hi, my name is Devin Strickland. I'm from South Brunswick, New Jersey. I play the small forward position at Brookdale, and the reason why I came to Brookdale is because of the winning culture and the coaching staff. Brookdale will have possession. And they lead by eight on the board. And we're under three minutes to play now. The Ocean County fan base is amped up. And a nice crowd on hand, good energy in the building for our doubleheader here tonight as Mateo just waits. Time ticking away. Gonna do their best to kill the clock here, Brian. Now he fakes. To the foul line, kicks it for Wells, pull up from the baseline, back to Mateo. Beautiful find, and Askew for the easy two. Great ball movement. See, that's how you win a basketball game, Brian. Unselfish possession like that. Weiss drills a three ball, and he's starting to get going now. It's a seven-point game. Still plenty of time for Ocean. And what's yeah, the it's call? Been a been a while since Dallas Weiss has gotten hot from downtown, but now, now is a perfect time for him to start tripping away this lead with Nick Williams off the floor so he can take advantage and trim this lead since it's only a seven point difference. Both teams have maxed out now in fouls with 10. Wells will shoot a pair. 79% during the regular season, first attempt, good. And Brian Dumphy, the second, is in, replacing Potter. I believe you have an update, Dominic, on the other game that we're monitoring. So, of course, like I said, Northampton winning by 21 over Passaic. So the number one seed continues to the semifinals. But in the 5-4 game, Union only losing to Rowan Gloucester 64-72 to with just less than two minutes to go in that one. Dumphy spins and can't get it to go. Tip into the hands of Askew. He grabs hold of it. Mateo across midcourt. Dale working with a nine-point lead. 
88-79, Mateo gets bumped out top. Mattel just going to work at the clock here. Mateo spinning around. They get the foul. Free throws coming. I can't imagine being that referee, just being right in front of Paul Chizek, screaming into your ear, and for good reason in most cases. Brooktail has started this season with 13 straight wins. They closed the year with an 11-game win streak. That accounts for their 24 wins. Only had one true loss this year. It was a two-point decision against Atlanta Cape. Unfortunately for Brookdale, they don't have to worry about them as Montgomery will be the opponent. Mateo, second attempt, he's got them both. 90 to 79. Ocean's gonna have to make it happen in a hurry. Got 97 seconds left. Klein gets the finger roll. He got it up and over flood. And we'll get a timeout. Minute 33 to go now. And it is a 30-second timeout, so let's keep it here on Brookdale TV with Brian Gadzer and Dominic Sama here with you, and Jersey Blues hoping they can wrap this one up, and their season will continue. And, of course, they have their eyes, their sights set on bigger things even beyond this Region 19 tournament. Yeah, this team has been totally dominant all season long and the good thing about them Brian is that they are a second half team you see that they were only up by six in the end of the first half of play and now coming into the second half at one point they were up by 20 granted and then Ocean chipped away at that now only down by nine they could chip away at it in the next 93 seconds but the Brookdale Jersey Blues nonetheless play their best basketball going towards the end of the game, and that's the way you want to end things in your favor. I think Ocean deserves a lot of credit, too, as here comes Halliburton for Askew, and easy, too. And Ocean has fought hard. You know, all the games against Brookdale, and this is now the third meeting, is we're going to get a Brookdale foul here. But none of the games have been complete runaways, and it's a team overall, you know, they're one game over 500, but they play hard, even though they're the number 10 seed, they play better than that. Yeah, they, let, let's just put this to bed, Brian. Ocean is way, is way more worth than, is of way more worth than being a 10 seed, having beaten Middlesex just two nights ago and now giving Brookdale another close competition tonight. Final minute 15 to play tonight. Brookdale holding on to a 10-point lead. Baseline with Askew, whip it back out, Mateo. will use some more clock. Down to eight to shoot. Mateo looking, finding Halliburton. Over to Askew, one to shoot, and they don't get it away. So if nothing else, they use 30 seconds. And now it'll be Ocean Ball down by 10. Yeah, this game's starting to run away from Ocean, but you got to give credit to all these players, including Ethan Paul, and most importantly, Josh Klein, since he is a sophomore. This might just be his last game of the season. So, you know, a lot of credit to him. He is one heck of a player, puts on one heck of a show for the fans, whether it be for fans of his own or even for the opposing ones. He is fun to watch. Nearly a turnover, gotten by Klein. He knocks it down. Another long three-pointer, and we're not done yet. Seven-point game. Getting across midcourt. Still playing keep away, and then the wrap-up foul. Halliburton will shoot. Paul on the foul. Halliburton, a good free-throw shooter, but he missed his only attempt in this game tonight. Yeah, 91%, Brian, one of the best in Region 19. And 
going into this matchup, possibly against Montgomery, he's going to be very much needed on the free throw line. So if anybody is to take a lot of contact when going up for shots and taking hits or taking sh taking literal shots when defending and taking charges, that's who you want to send to the free throw line. One added to that time. It's an eight point game. Weiss for three. That's good. And it's a five point game. Look out. Wells will call timeout for the inbounds. This is what Ocean does. They never say die and they stay in games because they can shoot the three. Wow. And we're coming toward a shootout towards the end of this matchup. Just a five point split. Full timeout. Final 18.4 coming your way next on Brookdale TV. My name is Jaden Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amboy. I play the one and three for Brookdale basketball. And I came to Brookdale to expand my education. My name is Andre Wells. I'm from Matawan, New Jersey. I'm a point guard on the Brookdale basketball team. And I chose Brookdale because it was a good fit for me and not really expensive. My name is Manuel Bell. I'm from North New Jersey. I went to American History High School. And the reason I chose Brookdale was for the winning culture and to develop my game. My name is Niles Halliburton. I'm from Matawan, New Jersey. I play forward here for Brookdale basketball. And the reason why I chose Brookdale because it has a great coaching staff and good organization. And it's really good fit for me academically. Hi, my name is Devin Strickland. I'm from South Brunswick, New Jersey. I play the small forward position at Brookdale. And the reason why I came to Brookdale is because of the winning. Eighteen point four on the clock. Ocean will look for the steal. If not, they'll foul. Dale holding on by five. Ocean has gotten closer. They made a couple of threes. Looking for the inbounds. It's in for Wells, and he's fouled. But just about a second goes off the clock. So we're going to be getting set for what is going to be 48 hours from now, the Region 19 semifinals. So on one side, you're going to have Northampton and Rowan, who they're on their way to victory over the Union County Owls. Then you have Montgomery of Pennsylvania awaiting the winner of this game. Wells hits the first. Change for the Vikings with Brian Dumphy in. It's a two possession Brookdale lead. This would extend it to three with a make for Wells. Had a very steady season and it's good. 95-88. No timeouts remaining at this point. Final 10 seconds. They need to make threes. Out near midcourt with Klein. Swing it for Dumphy. Throws up a desperation three short. Grabbed by Askew. Final second, and it is over. And the Jersey Blues, they're moving on. And they will play here on Thursday night in front of their home fans as Montgomery will be the opponent. Montgomery winning earlier tonight and Brookdale is a winner. It is 12 straight wins. Fans on hand salute the effort of the Jersey Blues. They'll win this one by a final count of 95 to 88 over Ocean. We get to welcome you back inside with Brian Gadsworth and Dominic Sama and Dominic hard fought game here for Brookdale, but really they rode the star level performance of Nick Williams before he fouled out. You mentioned that 20 points by halftime, he continued to pick up the pace in the second half and went a long way to this Brookdale victory. Yeah, a long way to go and Brookdale now getting ready for another home matchup in 48 hours from now, less than 48 hours from now that we will have covered 
against the Montgomery County Mustangs coming from Pennsylvania. So Brookdale now in a similar predicament compared to last year where Brookdale, of course, went over to Montgomery as a fourth seed and upset Montgomery, who happened to be a number one seed at that time. Uh, they, haven't, they haven't played them all year that year. And now it's been a year, over a year, since that matchup. And this is the first time since then that Brookdale will be playing up against the Montgomery County Mustangs, but in a different building here in Collins Arena. We hope you join us on Thursday night.